Hi guys, welcome to Coding Ambitions. Today we will learn about Android Linear Layout with example. Uh, we will create a login screen today uh, using Linear Layout. But before that, I would like to say you guys, if you want to learn Android app development, if you want to learn Flutter or Merge stack for web development, then you can subscribe my YouTube channel. I post content on these topics on my channel. And uh, you can see this is the constraint layout here. This comes by default in uh, layout section in Android. So we will uh, convert it into li uh, linear layout. So let's start it. So there you can see there are two types of linear layout here, but all, uh, both of them are same. This is the previous version which we which we were using before Android X, and this is the latest version for Android X. You can use any of them. So I will continue with this one. So uh, for uh, login screen, let's say if we want to arrange elements one below uh, another one so we will uh, use orientation here as vertical so let's put it orientation this is the must part in the linear layout so this is the hello world text and uh, let's uh, first of all remove this constraint of constraint layout now it looks good let's say first of all uh, we uh, we want heading uh, first of all logo and then there is the login heading and then username password and then submit button so we will continue with uh, first of all we will continue with uh, heading we will consider logo after that in the ending so let's assign a text view so uh, there is already text there so we will set the text as uh, login so you can use any kind of heading here and we will change the text appearance here uh, this is the heading so we will use the headline here uh, let's split the screen so you can see the live preview here of the layout so uh, let's say we want this thing in the center. So first of all, we will have to arrange this in the center. So what we will do We will set gravity Gravity is used for data and layout gravity is used for the whole layout for the layout gravity and gravity is the Gravity for the data data inside layout. So let's uh, we want to arrange the data in the center So we will set gravity as center and you can see this is in the center now and uh, now move on to the second part and we want to display some input text here so we will use text input layout with match parent height wrap content and then we will use here edit text for username with match parent height again wrap content and here you we will close it and let's set the hint of this one so let's say we want to use the hint as username and let's apply the style to this one this is the text input style i will use outline box here and let's uh, give some padding to the layout padding horizontal uh, you should use all these at uh, dimensions and text from dynamic text from strings and dimensions from diamonds because uh, that helps us uh, for making app uh, responsive and for multiple languages so here i am using these static because uh, we want to i want to save time so that a video will not be so long so let's continue with that and let's say uh, this is the first one and now move on to the sec second one and uh, this is the let's say give it some id here this is the username and this is the username with added text and and this one is let's give it the id as password 
should not add to the text. And let's change the text as upward. And let's give it some margin so that it looks like good from the top. Again, it's 16 dp. And let's give that margin to this one as well. It's 16 dp. And third one is let's say there are two layouts. This is the uh, text input layout for username, this is for password. Now we want submit button here so yeah we have set the orientation to vertical you can see so it will automatically align components each one below another one so let's put it a compact button here width is match parent height again gap content and let's close it now we will set text it for it Let's save it set as submit and let's set text color or first of all let's set background for this background let's say this is the primary color of the app for now and now let's set the color for this set white color yes it looks good and now margin top is is to look good now and you can see let's run it and we will see it in the device Uh, this is the action bar we have to uh, remove this action bar for that we'll have to make change in the theme this is dot action bar so we will use the no action bar here in the night theme as well no action bar and now let's run it again looks good now and let's add some forget password link here and if you don't have account then register link here so let's do all that here let's add a text view here for forget password uh, width is as parent it's wrap content let's close it Let's assign the text. Text is for good. And let's assign the color. Text color. Let's give it panel color. And text appearance now. As this is the simple text, so we can use small at compared small or we can also use body style here but we will continue with that compact text and now you can see this is in the left but as you don't need this text in layout so we will use wrap content here and now it is automatically in the center but if we continue use uh, to using the match parent then we can also set its gravity for the content then you can also align <coughs> it in the center so here it comes and set the margin from top again it's 16 dp now it looks good and let's change the color of the login text as well to the primary color it will look good and after forgot password let's add one more text box we'll copy this one and paste it and then we will change the text don't don't have an account yes 
this and this is the simple text so we don't want its color to be highlighted we don't have any count let's again i have copied that and paste it so and copy this and then paste it here and remove the margin top from here because we want this text used to be together so let's put it sign up here and let's make login text uppercase so but it's your choice let's continue with this small one you can adjust it according to you so sign up here this is the link so now run it again and hit goes so all these elements are in the vertical orientation one below the other here we can type this one and it, and it has name any of the password here then we can submit or oops password is just a simple text here we can uh, change its type input layout in the text box input type is password uh, we can use uh, text password if we want to use alphanumeric Let's rerun it again. And now we can tap the logo here. So I have one sample logo here. Let's move on to that logo. To in the downloads. Let's open that one down to here. Download section. This is like a code logo. Let's import this one using Source Manager. Import tribal. And let's add the image view here in the top. Image view width. Let's say width is one fifty dp. Height 150 dp as well. We want to be it to be shown in square shape. Let's put it here and now set its source as underscore logo. And we can show it like this. It looks good now. But let's run our app and check it. So this is about the linear layout, how you can use linear layout. If you want to use things in the area where you do orientation vertical, you can also use uh, horizontal orientation here. If you want to align something like something here, then in the same row, if you want to align the things in the same row, you can use orientation horizontal here. So uh, you can try out using uh, horizontal orientation. You can leave that for yourself so this way it will help you understand this layout in a better way so this is all about linear layout we have created this login screen and 
this is all about linear layout but nowadays we don't use linear layout we prep constraint layout for responsive layout so we will continue i will continue with that in the next tutorial in the coming tutorial i will prepare a separate tutorial for relative layout and as well as for constraint layout so this is for all for today and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel coding ambitions if you want to learn android app development flutter for app uh, android and ios app development and merge stack for web development uh, i will continue i will coming back with the next video i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care have a great time keep coding